Did you know shopping can make you a superhero for the global poverty crisis? In 2017, I woke up on a stranger's couch in a studio apartment in Thailand, confused. I looked over and I saw Vinnie Lou, a Thai man my age, and it slowly came back to me. I'd actively put myself in this awkward situation through couch surfing. It had been almost 20 years since I woke up in strange places when backpacking the world. I had to remind myself. I did it because I wanted to meet a local and learn all about what it was like to be and grow up Thai. And I did. He shared his life story with me. And our connection led me to discovering how we all can help impact the world. I learned how he uplifted himself from the struggles he was born into, from a remote village in the rice fields, living with his whole family with no resources, to now having his own apartment food moped, which he all shared with me, a stranger. He brought the world to him through traveling couch surfers because he couldn't go to them, and he let us stay for free. He was rightfully proud. He'd done it all by moving to the city, finding good jobs, and working hard. The whole experience was worth that initial discomfort and enlightening. 6.7 million people in Thailand and 736 million globally, pre-pandemic, live in ext extreme poverty, which is less than $1.90 a day. $1.90? We had 20 years of global poverty decline, but now the result of COVID climate change and conflict, poverty is increasing in unprecedented numbers, and the World Bank is predicting it's going to be a billion. A billion of our fellow humans with income so low they can't meet their basic human needs. Food, clean water, shelter, sanitation, education, medical attention, human rights we all deserve. And poverty is more than a lack of income. It includes social discrimination, exclusion, lack of participation in decisions, and inability to get help or help themselves. And poverty leads to crime, violence, sex trafficking. My time in Thailand left me honored and educated, but I was so sad. I had met so many people who hadn't been able to achieve what Vinnie Lu had. I had guilt because of what I had, and I felt absolutely powerless. I just didn't know how to help. I hadn't always felt this way. When I was younger, I believed I could help everyone and everything, starting clubs, volunteering, donating. But by college, this had fizzled out. I guess growing up made me disbelieve. Instead, all I could think is I'm only one person, and the world problems are too big. Maybe you felt this way too? Seeing others suffering is uncomfortable and overwhelming, but I had renewed hope to help. Vinnie Lou had shown me the solution, fair wages, sustainable income. People want to work and provide for their families. They need and deserve fair paying jobs, not just charity. So when I got home, I searched and I searched and I searched and I found it. And it was a simple solution thinking about the purchases we make every single day, looking for logos on products that means they're ethical and empowering, matching our shopping to how we want the world to be. Vinnie Lou had unknowingly led me to this discovery, and I regained the belief that we can impact the world because with our consumption comes immense power. There are people behind every product that we buy and our shopping choices directly impact them and what their lives are like. It's called conscious consumerism, and it relies on us to making purchases that have positive social, economic, and environmental impact. When was the last time you shopped? Online or at a store? Of course, we're all consumers. The U.S. is the largest consumer nation in the world. So, how exactly do you harness this untapped superpower? Well, you could start by thinking about what do you want to impact? What really compels you? For me, I want to help alleviate poverty. I want to empower people to empower themselves, like Vinnie Lou had. 
but not have to leave their villages if they don't want to. How I want to impact the world aligns with fair trade verified and certified products. Fair Trade Federation, World Fair Trade Organization, Fair Trade International. Fair Trade ensures that the workers and farmers are paid fairly, that their needs are met, that their rights are protected, that there's mutual respect, benefits, decision making. And on top of it, the products are environmentally sustainable and conserve natural resources, which protects the jobs and the planet for the long term. Some examples, jeans, ice cream, soap, and you don't have to know all the fair trade logos right now. Just look for the words fair trade on the logos. Now that's power. By just knowing buying fair trade, you're helping support our global family. You're helping them provide for their children and protect the planet. An example of how this is working is with Global Groove Life in Thailand. They work with a master tailor named Deer in a remote village to have her own business. They have provided the sewing machines so that they can craft the goods locally and the women she employs can stay in the village and bring in additional income. This is in a region where previously only very low paying cabbage farming was available. Fair trade has brought new opportunity. And this is just yoga ball covers. There's tens of thousands of fair trade products, from flowers, chocolate, and wine, to clothing, jewelry, and home decor. It is possible. We can help give talented, hardworking people equitable jobs, a way to uplift themselves, their families, and their communities by doing what we're already doing, shopping. We can impact the poverty curve. So, Fair trade is a superhero badge I look for when shopping. But what are you most called to impact? What kind of change hero do you want to be? Whether it's one major issue like poverty or many that you want to influence, you can by looking for logos. These are just some of the logos that you'll run into. They mean that the product or brand is doing good for our animals, our people, our planet. But you do not need to know or memorize these all right now. Just start by looking a little more closely when you're shopping. Look on websites, look on storefronts, look on the front and back of products, and read the logos. They may be supporting multiple causes at once. And you do not have to start thinking about every major global issue or go home and change all of your shopping tomorrow. I did say this was a simple solution. Now that you know of your superpower, have some fun with it. Two ways you might start are one, you can start with the issue and find the logo that supports it and buy those products. Maybe it's saving the rainforest. We'll then look for Rainforest Alliance certified products. Then look for Rainforest certified seal. Or if it's preventing animal cruelty, then look for cruelty free products. Or two, you can start the other way. Start with the product that you love or buy most. Maybe it's toilet paper. There's bamboo and sustainable options. Or for me, it was coffee. And there's endless ethical conscious off coffee options. So whether you start with the issue first or you start with your favorite product first, good news is you can find ethical versions of products everywhere during your normal shopping. They're all over online and at major stores. This outfit is all from conscious ethical companies. And I could tell you, wearing an outfit that supports equality and sustainability just feels good. And drinking coffee that empowers others, it tastes better. Purchasing this way adds more meaning and passion into our everyday experiences, from the time we buy it to every time we use it. And it's a myth that all ethical conscious products cost more. I took this photo at a major store chain all these coffees are $5.99. The difference is, the top shelf has the fair trade logo. By picking from the top shelf, you're supporting equality and sustainability. I took this of tea. The fair trade and organic option costs less than the non-fair around it. And because the farmers were paid way before these products gets to you, it's not about what you're paying in that moment that impacts if that farmer can support himself, herself, or their families,
but it is about which of those products you choose. By using your purchasing power, you're having your money speak for you. Businesses listen to what we purchase. Vote with the money that you're already spending and influence corporations to be more ethical. The more we all consciously purchase, the more impact we make at every level of the supply chain. Put on your cape, own your power, share the knowledge, and know with each purchase, you're uplifting and empowering our global family. You're protecting our animals and planet, and you are making the world better, just one purchase at a time. Thank you so much.